Hi, what's up, Fate family? Jarvis Godin of Voyager Arts YT here. Today, we're going to be talking about the trailer for Echo, the all-new MCU Disney Plus series, because people definitely haven't gotten sick and tired of watching those. Now, I'm going to be up front with you guys. I don't know too much about the Echo character, but based on this trailer, uh, I can tell that she is a Native American, and she is deaf, and she is disabled, and she is a badass, and she is a girl boss. Yeah, man, on, honestly, this trailer just left me bemused. I, I don't understand who this character is outside of, like, surface-level traits. I don't really understand what her motivation is. Looks like she got into some sort of car wreck, and she, it, she might be going after the people that wronged her. And another thing is that Echo is apparently a protege of Kingpin, but... I guess Kingpin does something to piss her off, and now Echo is going after Kingpin, but Kingpin says, Hey, you and me, we're exactly the same, in that, in that little New York accent that I can't really do. Yeah, no, this trailer leaves me with, like, zero excitement for the show. It just looks like another generic action series that you see on Amazon Prime Video. I mean, it does look better than a lot of the other stuff the MCU has been putting out lately. Um, there's no awful CGI and I don't see any immediately hateable characters, but it's like, this trailer gives me nothing. It's literally giving me nothing. And I see people online, they're, they're filleting the trailer. They're saying that uh, Marvel is finally back. But look, look, hold on, hold on. Pump the brakes for a second. Hold on, Skipper. If you think about it, it doesn't seem like Marvel necessarily has a great amount of faith in the show. Because they're releasing all six episodes at once on Disney Plus and Hulu, which is an incredibly bizarre move to me. And it seems like they're doing it to uh, increase ratings. And they've done this before uh, with some of their other Disney Plus shows. They did it with Andor for about a week because the, the show, I mean, Andor was fantastic, but the ratings for the show were not good. And it's public knowledge at this point. Disney also did it again with Secret Invasion. Uh, where it was like a limited time thing where you could watch every episode of Secret Invasion on Hulu. So it's interesting that they're doing it right out of the gate with Echo. And it seems to me that Disney doesn't doesn't necessarily have uh, the most faith in this show. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that the show was bad. I mean, Echo could end up being fantastic. It could end up being my favorite uh, Marvel Disney Plus TV show, although that's not a very uh, high bar to cross. But based on everything I'm seeing right now and based on some of the weird sort of PR they've been putting out about this, how Echo is the first in the Marvel Spotlights uh, series, which are going to be, I guess, quote unquote, grounded and, and realistic takes on the superhero genre that, that don't require previous viewing. Even though uh, Echo, the character in the show, was originally introduced in Hawkeye, you know the the miniseries from 2021 that nobody gave a shit about. So I don't I don't understand how how you can say it's not really connected to the MCU when it's literally connected to something else in the MCU. But but either way, when you take all all that all that PR marketing into account, all the Marvel spotlight crap, I, I don't have the greatest amount of faith in this show. Maybe it'll prove me wrong. But I'm, I'm confident enough in giving out this take. It's like, honestly, this trailer's done nothing for me. And I, I, I just don't care. I, I find it really hard to care. I don't even have, like, a morbid curiosity in this like I do with the Marvels. Because with the Marvels, it, I, I heard that's been so much of a shit show. I just want to see how bad it is. It's like, it's like the Emoji movie. I, I, I just want to see how bad it is. The, the Marvels could possibly be. And in fact, I may end up being pleasantly surprised. I may end up uh, either enjoying it ironically or unironically. With Echo, it seems like just another generic action series, so I may, like, obtain a copy of the first episode, but it's going to have to try very hard to keep my attention. And I assume the same is true for a lot of other people because Marvel has been burning people really bad when it comes to their shows. You know, and, and I'd argue that it's high time to either reduce the output or just or just stop making them in general either way man those are my thoughts on the echo trailer i had previously recorded this video about a day or two ago but the situation has developed since then and i don't feel like my thoughts like right after watching the trailer were, were entirely reflective of of i guess the online uh community quote unquote's reaction uh to the trailer so i i just want to give my two cents on it I know some of y'all may disagree. I know when I do these uh, editorials, people tend to disagree. But, hey, you know what? As long as it's in the name of uh, 
fair discussion and engagement on YouTube. Either way, man, I've been Jarvis Gondor, Warrior Jarvis YT. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more diecast content. Uh, take care of yourselves. Go with God. Have a great night. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.